All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint these lily pads. All right, the question of the day is, who is Claude Monet? All right, let's run through the colors. Queen red, pearly red, pearly orange, Van Dyke brown, Guinean yellow, primary yellow, Quinn blue, primary cyan, phthalo green, titanium white, Mars black. All right, today we're gonna do a lily pond. <laughs> So Claude Monet is obviously one of the impressionists, one of the best known impressionist painter. I think there's probably 1% of the world that people don't know him. Um, he married and then his first wife kind of died and that set him into a really dark phase a little bit for a while. He painted like um, his wife dying, which is pretty brutal. And later, I think he hooked up with his house cleaner or something. <laughs> um, and it was kind of like this secret affair for a while because she was married and so <laughs> They're like playing hide and seek and then finally the husband was estranged in Paris and then he moved in with her. Um, so he painted several scenes outdoors. Um, when he studied, he studied kind of academic painting, but he really didn't like what he saw and then he changed schools, found these other impressionist style painters. Um, obviously it wasn't invented by then, but, and they kind of set in the, the same direction, Sicily and Manet and some other impressionist painters. Um, so he did several exhibitions and at one point he had kind of like a financial ruin. And so he actually jumped off a bridge to commit suicide. <laughs> Didn't succeed luckily. And then later he went on to paint his best work. So imagine that you've, um, if you think about my Van Gogh and how he got shot, maybe accidentally, maybe by himself, you know, would he have created even better work than what he had been known for and been rich in his lifetime? Who knows? Um, Monet was, you know, he struggled a lot of his life and at the end, he started really making kind of the money, you would say. And he bought a big house, and he bought with um, this estate in Gavirne with um, pond farm. And then he expanded the pond, you know, as in his later years because he couldn't travel anymore. Like he had traveled to London and Venice and painted there, and it was really um, some of his better paintings. Obviously, there are really well known of London, obviously, haystacks and other. Oh, well, he sex might be Van Gogh, but 
Um, yeah, he's really well known as an Impressionist. He's the first Impressionist painter called Impression, and that's where the whole name came from. And yeah, they just resolved to paint outdoors. And this coincided with the invention of two paints, which most people don't realize that kind of triggered this event besides photography coming up at the time. So photography came out, people are like, realism's dead, let's move on to something else. And so they moved to using this kind of on the spot plain air painting, which the two paints allowed because before you had to mix your own paints um, with the pigment into whatever material oil and then store it in pig bladder. So it wasn't really a pleasant experience to, to paint and store paint. So people just mix it on the fly, painting by painting. Um, in this case, the two paints really allowed to um, really allow people to do plein air painting. And so they really expanded on it with Van Gogh and Monet and all these other Impressionist painters. So that's kind of how Impressionism started. And that's Claude Monet. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So this one has this kind of light reflection of the flowers floating into the lily pads. Um, it has a really dark background. So the only contrast really is these white flowers. With this a touch of color on them, really that white pop on a green background. Um, if I thought about it, I probably would have changed the flowers to maybe an orange to really make a pop on the green. I think it works as is. It has just a touch of rose in there. Not a lot, but a little bit in there. Um, yeah, I kind of want to do like a study of obviously Monet did the famous water lily. So this is kind of the water lilies done in that kind of style, a um, little bit interpretive with the colors probably are not exactly true in this particular one. They're a little bit more lime green than you probably would really see in reality, but it does have that nice distance feel. Um, I almost feel like in this is kind of, you know, the, the viewpoint is you're looking probably from standing to, to the river. So you don't see a skyline. So it's kind of problematic a little bit in a landscape. You generally want to have kind of that skyline to kind of break that up. You don't want to just have a single shot into the water, but you know, it does have that really timeless quality to it, you know, going after Monet per se. Um, I think I like it. Um, I don't know if I'll do more. <laughs> Hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And if you want to see the full version, check my Patreon account. I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks, guys.